Hi, we're trainers at Seattle Athletic Club. And today we'll be demonstrating the new machine that we have, the glute ham reverse machine, also known as the GHR. We'll be demonstrating three movements, the reverse hyper, the back extension, and the Nordic hamstring curl. Stay tuned. My name is Becky. I'm going to be demonstrating the reverse hyper. First step setting this up is you want this to be at the proper angle. This is where my hands are going to go. If I put it all the way forward for a shorter person and then backward for a taller person. Let's go right here. And then we're going to move to the back side of the machine. I'm going to grab a plate to make it a little heavier. With my plate, I'm going to grab one of the arms and there's a plate rack here. Slide my plate onto the rack, put it back down. You're going to grab the ankle strap, put it around one ankle. I'm just going to do one at a time. So my other foot is going to take the step off to the side, climb up onto the machine. My hips are at the edge of the mat, and then my hands are going to reach out and grab the handles. My feet are just hanging, and I'm going to squeeze one leg through the glute as high as I can, and then slow and controlled back down. And that's it. Hey, Kang here. I'll be demonstrating the back extension exercise on this uh, GHR machine. Pretty simple. You're going to step up to this stepper right here. Tuck both your feet into the holding pad. Make sure that they're all nice and secure. Both of them are nice and secure in. Step out or extend your back and keep your hips in a line with the corner of the padding. Keep your core nice and braced and tight. Ex go down and extend back up. The purpose of this exercise is to strengthen your lower back muscle. And that's it. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm going to be demonstrating the Nordic hamstring curl on the GHR machine. First things first, we want to make sure that the machine is set up towards your body size. If you're a little bit short of a person, you're going to um, adjust it there. If you're a little bit taller of a person, you're going to make it a little bit longer of an angle there. My positioning is right about there. We're going to step up. We're going to wedge our foot into the pad. What's really important here is that we make sure our knees and our foot here is really wedged in so we have good leverage. As we come down to the bottom of this Nordic hamstring curl, we're going to inhale, coming all the way out, exhale, driving up. The Nordic hamstring curl is really great for developing your hamstrings and your glutes. If you're noticing you're having a hard time coming back up, you can place your hands on the pad, push away a little bit. You can also use this on the descent to help slow you down to, so you can develop those nice, strong glute hamstring connection so you can get to the point where you can do this without the need of help. This is a, I really challenge you to use this piece of equipment for a nice, strong posterior chain.